Lizards make fantastic pets and one of the draw cards for many people is that keeping them in captivity is easy. Or is it? My name's Emma from Vetter Farm and today we're going to take a quick look at what is really necessary to keep our pet lizards healthy and happy. Let's start with two of the most popular species of lizards kept in captivity, blue tongue lizards and bearded dragons. Both of these reptiles make great pet choices, however people are often misinformed about the best diet for these lizards when kept as pets. Lizards being fed an incorrect diet can develop serious health problems, the most common being metabolic bone disease or MBD. MBD is not new, it has been around for many years in the reptile world and commonly thought of as a calcium deficiency. However, research in the last five years has shown that a lack of calcium is not the only cause of MBD in reptiles. In fact, the causes for MBD are complex and multifactorial, though imbalances in the diet remain the major contributing factor. There are a number of symptoms that can indicate your blue tongue or bearded dragon is suffering from MBD. They range in severity, from inability to stand and move properly, tremors and muscle twitching, soft jaw and teeth disease, leg, spine and tail twists and bends, fractures and broken bones, and eventually weight loss and death. It is important to keep in mind that these symptoms are caused by an incorrect diet and lack of adequate exercise and care. The only way to treat and prevent MBD in lizards is to get these few simple things right. It is actually quite easy to provide a balanced diet for lizards. It needs to contain vitamins, minerals, calcium, fat, protein and amino acids. But, most importantly of all, the diet needs to be balanced. Both blue tongues and bearded dragons are classed as omnivores. They eat a variety of different foods, including both insects and meat matter, and fruit and vegetable matter. Blue tongues are classified as opportunistic omnivores. They will generally eat most things that they come across, with a favourite being snails. This can become a problem in captivity because they will usually eat just about anything that goes into their food bowls, even if it is not particularly good for them. Snails all day, every day? Yep, they will take the opportunity. Bearded dragons are also omnivores, but they tend to have a diet higher in protein when they are younger, which gradually changes to a diet higher in vegetation and fibre as they reach maturity. Bearded dragons also develop problems in a captive environment as they simply love live food and many people find it easier just to feed them what they like, not necessarily the best thing for the animal. There are two main options for providing your lizard with a balanced diet that will ensure they remain in peak health without breaking your bank or your patients. Vetafarm believes the easiest way to achieve this is to use a formulated diet, like Vetafarm Lizard Food, being made with fresh Australian ingredients with essential vitamins, minerals and amino acids in perfect balance. Vetafarm Lizard Food is suitable for both blue tongues and bearded dragons. If you prefer to feed a live food diet, it must be supplemented. Crickets and mealworms are high in fat and protein with differing amounts of chitin or exoskeleton, depending on the type and age of the insect fed. Chitin does not actually contain any nutrition. While fat and protein are important for rapid growth, without the addition of vitamins, minerals and calcium, problems arise as reptiles' bones struggle to develop at the same pace as the rest of the body's tissues and organs. This makes supplementing a live food diet absolutely critical if we are to avoid deformities and other health issues caused by MBD. There are two ways you can supplement a live food diet, either by gut load or dusting. Betafarm prefers dusting as opposed to gut loading as it can be difficult to ensure that insects have eaten enough gut load to be beneficial. Betafarm Multicow Dust is a great dusting product to use as it is the world's first all-in-one powder containing vitamins, minerals and calcium. In our opinion, live food should be dusted every feed or at least every second feed. 
Here is a quick demonstration on how easy it is to dust live food. Simply grab a paper bag, add a scoop of multi-cow dust, pop in the desired amount of crickets and gently shake for a few seconds to ensure the crickets are properly coated. Feed immediately after dusting as the dust will come off after a period of time. Multi-cow dust does tend to stay on crickets much better than some other heavier supplements. And that's it. Simple. Whichever way you choose to feed your lizard, it is also important to provide fresh fruit and vegetables as part of the daily diet. Adult bearded dragons in particular rely on daily access to fruit and vegetables, being prone to obesity issues caused by high fat, high protein diets once they have finished growing. Leafy dark greens and red vegetables usually contain the most nutrition, so it's a good idea to use these as the bulk of your mix. A small amount of multi-cow dust can also be used in a sprinkle over vegetables. Nutrition plays a major part in MBD in reptiles, however lighting and husbandry are important as well. Be sure you research the particular tank and lighting requirements for your lizard. Thank you for watching and remember the Vetafarm team is always here to help you keep your animals happy and healthy.